Hey everyone, we've had the vibe for about six weeks now. Time for the reveal. Mangear's website was very easy to navigate. They certainly offer a variety of options at different price points for any need. The custom build process is very intuitive. You're taken step by step through each component and accessory. After a few weeks of waiting, I did decide to swap out some parts, so I contacted Mangear. They were pretty knowledgeable and they were able to do what I needed without extending my wait time. My current monitor maxes at 180 FPS, but here's a lot of the games I own with ultimate presets. Rocket League had no issue maxing out at my 180 setting. Magic Legends Beta was the newest game I played. I wasn't able to display the FPS, but I never really noticed any issues. For the purpose of this example, we turned on ray tracing in Modern Warfare. The game seems to maintain 130 to 160 pretty consistently. I don't have a monitor that can handle the task, but turning off ray tracing yields over 200 frames per second. Using shaders in Minecraft before my upgrade was pretty much an unplayable experience, but now we maintain about 30 FPS. For those of you curious about the cable management that was done, here's the back of my PC. Let's start with the positives. I certainly feel they outweigh the negatives. First of all, horsepower. The upgrade was well worth it. The shopping experience was really easy, and when I contacted support for my parts change, it went very smoothly. When receiving my package, I was a little nervous because they ship it in the tower box, but they do pad it very well. And of course, it has a lot of upgrade potential. There are only a couple negatives I can think of, but they are fairly significant. First, the custom build process costs quite a bit more than pre-builds. I only wanted a larger PSU, larger M.2, and RGB, and it cost a significant amount more. Secondly, queue wait times are getting pretty crazy. I was fortunate only waiting two months, but some wait up to six. So a few months ago I was in the situation where part shortages were affecting me. I wanted to build my own PC, but I gave main gear the shot. Do I regret my purchase? Absolutely not. There is one thing I would probably do a little differently, and it really it just comes down to considering their pre-builds. Sure, it's not as flashy and doesn't come with as much as I wanted, but the cost savings is certainly there, and I could have just upgraded myself. If you're currently in the market for a PC and Main Gear is one of your options, or maybe you've already bought a PC from Main Gear, certainly check out their Discord. 
It was a very reliable source as the community is very good there and they give regular status updates on what they're working on. So hopefully this provided some value for some of you. I tried to make it short and sweet so that way you can conserve your own time. If you did like it, please hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below.